It is a truth universally acknowledged that when many people think of romance novels, they think of a shirtless Fabio and a woman in an extravagant dress on the cover of a mass market paperback. My name is Katie, this is Trope Talk, and in honor of the new year, we are traveling back in time to take a look at historical romances. While technically a historical romance can take place any time in the past, generally speaking, when someone thinks about a historical romance, they think of pre-1920s. Most of the time, they are published in mass market format, although some historical romances are now published in trade paperback format with an illustrated cover, such as To Love and to Loathe by Martha Waters. Historical romances are usually further divided by what time period they take place. For example, the Bridgerton series by Julia Quinn is considered a Regency romance, as they take place between 1811 and 1820. Or, they could be characterized by location, such as the ever-popular Highlander romance, like It's Getting Scott in Here and Hit Me With Your Best Scott, both by Suzanne Enoch. Bodice rippers, as they have been traditionally called, have long been accused of promoting traditional gender roles. While this may have been true during the 1970s when the genre exploded in popularity, there has lately been a rise in historical romance featuring very feminist characters. Historical romances are restricted by the societal norms of the era in which they are set, but feature heroines who refuse to accept the status quo. Sarah McLean, an author of historical romance, has long stated that her heroines are feminist because it is not that she is pushed into making a change in her life because of an outside force, rather, she decides that her life is unacceptable and she pushes against that. Another author, Delphine Dryden, says she writes heroines who make choices even if the choices available to her are limited by convention or circumstance. She acts rather than being acted upon. For a bodice ripping good time, why not check out Wicked in the Wallflower by Sarah McLean, Bringing Down the Duke by Evie Dunmore, The Princess Stakes by Amelie Howard. For a romance set in historical United States, why not check out The Rogue of Fifth Avenue by Joanna Shoup. For an enemies to lovers historical romance, you could check out To Love and To Loathe by Martha Waters. For a romance with a little bit of mystery, you could check out A Lady's Guide to Mischief and Mayhem by Amanda Collins. A Duke, the Lady, and a Baby by Vanessa Riley features diverse characters set in a historical time. If you want to take a trip to the Highlands, why not try When a Scot Ties the Knot by Tessa Dare. For a feminist twist on the rake character, why not try The Rakeess by Scarlett Peckham. To put these books on hold or check out more great historical romance titles, log in to the WPL catalog. Thanks for watching Trope Talk and we'll see you next month for more Trope Talking Fun.